Alafia, this is Okandie. Again, I guess I figure I'll talk about this herb over here, this plant called Lengua de Vaca. I don't know if you can see it, right? Lengua de Vaca. This is one of the airways that belong to Chango. Um, in English, I believe they call it mother-in-law's tongue. You could grab this tongue for people that have problems with people gossiping and try to do harm to, to you by gossip and whatever. You grab the person's name in the brown paper bag thing and a pencil. Very important. Not a pen, a pencil. And write the name of the person. Ba 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 ba. Then you're gonna grab a bowl of palm oil and rub it on there. When you rub it on there, you fold it in the number of the orisha, representing the orisha, or the spring or the spirit you're doing with. In this case, let's say chango. Let's use chango. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You place you place it right in the middle of the of the herb, the tongue. This is representing the tongue of the enemy that's talking against you. And if it's chango, you will use um red thread. But since this is all I have right now in my hand, and this is just a sample, I'm gonna use green thread. And you go praying to chango or the spirit that you're working with while you go wrapping it up here. Now you could do this peacefully just to tie their tongue. Now if they're trying to hurt you, uh, physically hurt you or something like that, that's when you start cursing the person, doing the same thing, but just cursing the person out and, that, and wishing for whatever it is you want against that person. But it's not good to always do bad, you know. You could just say just to keep their mouth tongue, uh, their tongue closed or whatever, their mouth closed, but they won't continue gossiping about you. So you do a whole cocoon with it. I'm gonna stop right here because that's all it has in there. So you do a whole cocoon with it. Afterwards, you clean yourself with it. Praying to the deity that you're doing. In this case, it'll be Chango. Chango, protect me from whatever, whatever. Um, the name of the person. You slam it on the floor. You stomp on it three times. You pick it up. And you place it to the spirit of the Orisha that you're working with and you're invoking them to protect you against any harm. I just figure I'll put this one up about the tongue because I see a lot of people talk about people and everybody's having problems with gossip and stuff like that. This is a peaceful way you can end it or like I said, if it's that the person is really trying to hurt you and whatever, then you could curse, curse out the person while you're doing that and asking for the spirit to help you against that person wishing whatever that person is wishing on you to go back to that person that's um, talking about you, your family or whatever. That's called lengua de vaca. That's the mother's-in-law tongue. Okay. See ya soon. Bye.